Hi folks, my name's James Trudinik. Welcome to another exciting episode of Bay 46. And things are exciting, because right behind Dom, our wonderful cameraman here, the Wanderers are preparing for the A-League's first ever Christmas Eve game this Thursday night against the Newcastle Jets. Now, seeing as the Wanderers have only one game left in 2015, now is a good time to take a look back at the story so far. The Wanderers lead the A-League, two points ahead of Brisbane Roar, and although our wonderful winning streak has come to an end, we're still eight games undefeated. Sitting at the top, how good is that? Now, since we're here training, I think that we should talk about the thing that's on everyone's lips, and that is the set piece that led to Brendan Sandalab's goal against Perth. I'll talk you through it, in case you haven't seen it. It's very simple. Fittisic to Nichols, Nichols to Jamison, Jamison crosses into Sandalab, who finishes. Looks simple, but I think you'll agree, if you've seen it, that it is the most wonderful set piece that you'll see in the A-League this season, if not of all time. I don't know. Now, Popper, as he is wont to do, has given the credit to Andreas Carrasco instead of himself. And since we're on the topic of Andreas, I think it's important we mention him because he has been pivotal this season for the Wanderers' success. Although Popper calls the shots at training and is still the man in charge, Carrasco has been very good at letting the players know exactly what he wants them to do. On to some team news now, and we'll start with the bad news. That is that Andreu has picked up the Wanderers' first suspension of the season with five yellow cards. But the good news is, that's really the only bad news. The Wanderers' forward line all look just about ready to start, with Piovacari, Santalab, Mark Bridge and Gogo Mabratu fighting for selection. So that's sure to cause some headaches for Popper come Thursday night. The other good news is Dimas is set to come back into the side after recovering from a little niggle he was suffering from. But although he plays, he probably won't be too happy about his partner in crime, Andreu, being missing from the field. Let's talk about the Jets. Newcastle started the season very well, even leading the league at one point, but unfortunately have dropped off and are winless in their last seven games. Despite this, however, they have a surprisingly strong record at Wonderland. The five times they've played at Pertec, they've lost only once and picked up three points on three occasions, the most recent of which being last March. If the Wanderers hope to walk away with the three points this Thursday, they will need to be careful to avoid the Jets' hoodoo. Now, since it is Christmas, I think it's only fitting that we take a walk down Nostalgia Way and remember some of the Wanderers' most triumphant victories over recent festive seasons. Starting with number three, and on the 23rd of December 2013, the Wanderers beat the Central Coast Mariners 2-0. Now while the game in itself was memorable, with goals to both Urich and Hersey, what was most memorable was what happened off the field, with nearly 16,000 people in the crowd making Christmas lights with their phones. And it begs the question, well, will it happen again? Number two is our 2-1 win against Melbourne Victory on the 1st of January 2013. And this one was a Shinji Ono masterclass, with the Japanese legend scoring both goals. The first, a sumptuous curling effort, and the second, this gorgeous touch and volley effort. And number one, and I'm sure you'll remember this one, 21st of December 2012, our 6-1 thrashing of Adelaide United. It remains our biggest ever win, and in it, Mark Bridge scored the first and only Wanderers hat-trick in history. Goals also to Dino Kressinger, Shinji Ono, and Joey Gibbs. How good was that game? Well, that's it for another episode of Bay 46. I will remind you that the Wanderers play the Newcastle Jets on Thursday night, Christmas Eve. Kickoff is at 7 p.m. at Wonderland. Hope to see you all there. But if you can't make it, which is understandable, please remember to release your seat through your My Wanderers account to give as many people as possible the chance to cheer on the Wanderers on Christmas Eve. My name's James Trudinik, and from all of us here at the Wanderers, please have a safe and Merry Christmas. I'll see you next time.